So we had a good match, or pair of matches last episode. We've been in pretty good form as of late. A uh, couple of wins, a couple of losses. About what you'd expect at this level. Let's see what happens today. Oh, we're into the FA Cup. Second round, second qualifying round. Can we make a run? I hope. We could use the money. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode three of Play the Kids, our football manager 21, director of football and youth challenge. So uh, if you're new to the channel or new to this save and you're wondering what this is about, go check out episode zero, uh, still early days here for this save. And, uh, but you know, I'm really excited about it. Uh, we've made some transfer news, so we'll look at that before we get into the matches. By the way, hit the like button, subscribe if you like what I'm doing here, and both of those things will help more people get eyes on my videos, which I thank you for doing. And don't forget, we do have daily Football Manager content here on the channel. So after beating Farnborough 4-1 to last episode, we did lose to H&R 4-1, uh, Graham Williams with the lone goal, and we beat Weldstone 2-1, to one, Tim Cook with a late brace after coming off the bench. Chesham, a 2-0 clean sheet. Graham Williams with a brace in that one. And then Bella Ricky beat us 3-2. Graham Williams and Jack Evans with goals. Uh, they got a 91st minute goal on a penalty, I think, for their third goal. Uh, it was uh, in the 90th minute. Uh, Stephen Doyle uh, on a penalty. Kind of a ticky-tack foul, but uh, it is what it is, and we lost that one. Taking a look at the competition, we are currently in fourth position after nine matches, six wins, and 18 points. I think we're doing outstanding, so uh, very happy with that. Let's take a look at the transfers that we've done. Uh, we've gone out and brought in some players on loan. We've already looked at the three guys that we lost earlier in the season. Uh, Aiden Halil has gone off on a free. He was our reserve keeper, so he goes off on a free. Uh, or he comes in on a free. I'm sorry. I'm getting that confused. Uh, then we brought in uh, Carnal Bissix from Cheltenham on loan. He's a central midfielder. Uh, yeah, physicals are there. I like his determination. And... Uh, the guy that gave us the kit, Sean Murphy. Thanks again, Sean. Uh, he also said that one of the things he looks at is is trying to get good mentals, especially determination uh, and then work rate if you can get both. But determination is kind of his go-to. So I said, well, I'll look at it. So we needed depth, and I haven't been able to sign anybody. We've had about five or six players that our director of football has made uh, – free offers to. They've all turned us down. So I couldn't get the board to give me a senior affiliate. Uh, we do have a senior affiliate in the championship in Exeter, but I think it's Exeter, but they don't have anybody available for loan. Uh, and so we, I've gone out and I've just looked at players listed for loan and made some blind offers. And some of them turned out to be okay. Some of them not so much, but uh, he had the determination, so we brought him in. You can see he started three matches, but he's playing a 6.23. Uh, Two-star current, four-and-a-half-star potential. Uh, then we brought in Quentin Hemmings from Telford. He's a center back, two-star current, five-star potential. Good heading, can't mark very well, but he can tackle. Uh, good jumping reach. He's six foot seven. Yes, um, so we're going to take a look at maybe setting up a little near post header uh, for him and see if we can't get some set piece goals out of this guy. Uh, but 20 years old, and you can see three starts playing a 6-9-7, so he's not doing horribly for us. Christian Simmons from Gloucester and John Rawlings also from Gloucester. And that's how we pronounce Gloucester in Massachusetts. I don't live there, but it's Gloucester, Massachusetts. It might be Gloucester or Gloucester. 
Uh, if it is, I'm sorry, but Gloucester is how we pronounce it over here across the pond. Uh, Simmons, another central mid, actually very well rounded. Looking at him for to be a playmaker for us. Three starts, uh, 6.4 rating has left something to be lacking as he's breaking into the side. And John Rawlings is a winger on both sides. Uh, again, low determination, but good work rate. And he can play both left and right, even though he's left-footed only. So mainly I was just looking, can I get some warm bodies in here to, to give us some depth? So that's what we've been looking for. So today we're going to be, uh, we'll have highlights from H&W, then we'll play Yate. I don't know what league they're in. They are in the Southern League Premier South, which is the league I believe Tiverton came out of from last season. So let me get H&W played, and we'll check out highlights. It was not a good day for the good guys. Uh, <laughs> we managed a mere two shots with one on target. And you can see we're in the 84th minute. So you can guess none of those shots were in our favor. They got the late goal, 84th minute, and that would be the final score, 1-0. A poor tally for us on this day. And that leaves us moving on to Yate Town in the FA Cup. We will be back for that match here in just a second. All right, we're going to go with Murphy in goal, a back four of Sloan, Hemmings, Bea, and McCauley, midfield of Simmons and Bissex, Wilkins and Bliss Cotterell on the wings, and Williams and Cook are our strike tandem, and they have 14 goals between them. Let's get into it, see if we can win an FA Cup match. That would be great. We'd certainly like to get into the, into the actual competition. All right, motivated. That is good. See if we can encourage them. And it's Cook at the back post, and it's cleared out. Oh, my goodness. And Hemming, oh, he was just a little lackadaisical there. We're in the white today. Three early shots. All right, Bea. Right to a defender. And there is nobody there to pick up the header. All right, that's how you do it. You head the ball down to your player. Simmons brings it up. Nice through ball. And a shot from range. That was optimistic, as I like to say. And a pickup player. <laughs> oh, he goes in hard for the tackle, knocks it away, but it goes right to the opponent. And there's Murphy coming out to make the play on the ball. A little flick on header, but nobody is able to get on to that. There's a flick on header. Cook is on to it, and he has slotted it home his fifth of the season. Timmy Cook with the goal. A trademark finish, it says. Devastating counterattack. And those are terms that we like to hear at lower league level. We've got the 1-0 advantage. Let's encourage them some more. Sloan has been giving me a lot of problems. Oh, that's not good. Uh, he, he's been training real poor, and every time I call him out for it, he's like, yeah, I'm really tired of you giving me shit, boss. <laughs> and he's the only player giving us a problem. But he's the only player that can truly play left back as well. So we'll have to look at somebody for him if we can. Wilkins is caught out of position. There's a big run in by Holland. And a little scramble. McCauley at the back post. Bliss Cotterell is on it. And there's a flick on header, but Williams did not make the run. A little lazy by him, it looks like. And Hemmings doesn't collapse back on the ball. And Lewis Holland dinks the keeper as Murphy is made to look really bad, but he was hung out to dry on that one. I think all the blame has to go to our center back on that. Uh, let's demand more. Well, halftime. And I've gone in and made the changes to put Hemming over on the near post for corners. So hopefully that can pay off. I haven't had a 6-7 center back before. 
Oh, good save by Murphy. He got his hands up on that one. Again, we're just being hung out to dry by the back line. There's a header out. Can Cook get to it? He does. Bliss Cotterill is giving him... Oh, and he's taken down. That was just dirty. You got to card him for that, right? Come on. All right, headed away. Bliss Cotterill on it. Over the top. Williams is on to it. And he just couldn't do anything with it. He's our number one goal scorer. He's, he's got 10 goals on the season. Cook. There was Hemmings. Well, he is tall, isn't he? All right, boys. Over the wall, and it's headed right into Naziala, Naziala's hands. I was like, he's nauseous. Naziala. All right, Sloan tracks back on it. Pings it. Williams makes the run onto it. And he can't do anything with it. He just brought it right to the keeper. I think, uh, I think he was just tired of running there. Murphy gets down and controls that one. All right, Williams, he's on a breakaway. You've got to finish this. And he takes a touch to the right of the keeper, moves him just a touch, and he slots it home. And we are up 2-1. to one. That was a nice run and finish by Williams. Real quick job by Murphy to get up and get the ball out. Excellent play by the keeper to pick that out and catch them on a quick counter. Brilliant, brilliant play. And we've taken the lead in the 64th minute. Come on, boys. All right, Sloan plays it short to Wilkins. Through to Williams. Cook. Oh, what a finish by Timmy Cook. That's his sixth on the season, second of the match. And it's now three to one. Let's go ahead and make a sub here. All right, we've got th several guys on yellow cards. I would like to get Sloan out of there if I could. But again, I really don't have anybody. You know what? I'm going to move Bea over there for Sloan. And then let's bring on Corbett. Let's bring White into the match for Bliss Cotterill there. Get two yellow cards off the pitch. That was a nice little finish by Cook. Looking good. 15 shots, 7 on target. Naziala with the goal kick. Oh, there's a good tackle by McCauley. Cook lays it ahead. It's Bissick's on the run, and it is wide of the net. I think he should have done much better with that. 82nd minute. All right, let's go ahead and John Davies. He can actually pass. I'm going to bring him on. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Yeah, I really don't have anybody to put in there, do I? Tell you what, I'm going to bring Adam Rowe in for... Let's bring him on for Simmons. A lot of guys kind of playing in weak positions here. I hope it doesn't cost us. Hemmings clears it out. Williams is there. Wilkins is giving him a run for an overlap. Williams cuts it inside. It's into Cook, and Cook just misses his hat trick. Oh, that was unlucky. They really paired up there. All right, we've got a foul. Oh, it's played back. What a save, but Stuart Wyatt gets the rebound. Murphy couldn't hold on to that. Nobody was nearby to clear it away from danger. And they have made it interesting at 3-2. to two. We do hold on, but we're going to have to play better than that. I'd like to get a few more lone guys to really just beef up our side. And again, I know that we do want to play our youngsters, but we want, we want to try to win too. And we aren't going to really develop our youth academy until we get to a little bit higher level. Because we've already seen we can't sign anybody right now. And we don't have the money to carry a serious youth side right now. So we need to get up a couple of levels uh, before we're really able to make a run at doing that. So 
Uh, but I will still be looking at young players. Uh, even the lone ease, I'm looking only under the age of 24. There were a couple of guys, 28, 29, that I could have gotten that I've stayed away from. So let me know in the comments what you think about that decision. Uh, hopefully you're okay with it, because uh, I am. Uh, but again, you know, all things being equal, we want to play the youth from our squad. But you saw how small our squad was. We just have to get some bodies in to where we can field a competitive team because that also is going to help by winning, getting up levels, and, you know, competing that way. So we're down to seventh with that last loss. A lot of clubs in there, so we've got a long way to go. But we have one in the second round. We pick up $10,000 for that. Cook with two more goals. That is great. And I wonder, uh, that's the youth second round. I don't think that helps us. Well, the third qualifying round should be coming up soon, but I don't see it on the calendar. So I think we come back for that match, so we'll have a quick turnaround. Uh, so next episode will be, well, let's see, FA, just to be competitive, right? So yeah, I think we have to come right back for that. So we'll have Chip and Am highlights, and then we'll play our FA Cup third round next episode. So we'll come right back for that. And uh, then I guess uh, we will consider the FA Trophy as well. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content Monday through Saturdays. And I appreciate you dropping by. We'll see you later. Bye.